You did an amazing job with that construction work. Driving the crane must have been really tricky. Oh, hey there. We're gonna do some construction together. I'm Mrs. Dillon, and if you haven't met me before, I'm gonna be your teacher for level three. So, let's get what we need to start constructing. today with a game, which is what I think is one of the very best ways to learn mathematics. So in this game, we are trying to make 10. So I have taken a deck of cards and I took out all the face cards and all the 10s because we're going to make 10s. And now you can see that I've split them up evenly into five piles. I'm going to turn my cards over and let's see if we find any combinations that can make 10. Do you see any possibilities for making 10? <gasps> Did you say nine and one? Do you remember that the ace equals one? That makes 10. Let's flip these over. Do you see any other combinations for making 10? Did you say four and six? Let's collect those and flip these over. <gasps> Do you see what I see? I see another combination. Can you find it? It's a repeat, isn't it? We are really good at four plus six equals 10. Now, can you imagine if we called this 40 and 60 or four tens and six tens, if we added that together, what would we have? That's right, we'd have 100. Working with tens helps us work with hundreds. Oh my gosh, another four. Oh, now I can see a combination of three cards that I can use. Can you see the same combination? See if you find it. Look at that, we're gonna construct 10 out of seven, two, and one, because two and one make three. Another combination of 10. So you see, we can get a little tricky if we need to. And then we've got seven and three. Boy, we can keep playing this game until we are all out of cards. So I hope that you will play this game today when you're all finished with your lessons. But let's get going with some more instruction. All right, kiddos. If you were with me for level two, you know that I love for us to identify the possible digits that we can use when we're doing math. So let's list those now and if you're new, then you're learning right along with me. So if I wanted to show that I didn't have anything at all, let's say I didn't have any animals, what's the number I would use to show that? <laughs> you got it, we would start with zero. Sometimes when we're talking about numbers, people forget to start with zero, but I like to start with zero what comes next? You call them out and I'll write them. Thank you. All right. Now you notice that I'm putting a comma after every one of my numbers and now I'm gonna come down here to this row. Should I write the number 10? That's right, we won't write the number 10 because 10 is a number, not a digit. It's a number made up of two digits. It's made up of one and zero. So these are the digits that we have to work with and we wanna just make sure that we're aware of that. All right, let's go on to something next. I forgot. Today we are going to focus on the value columns and place value. So I'm gonna build a number real quick and I want you to tell me what I'm building, okay? Here we go. I'm gonna start with that. I bet you can right away tell me what that is. Mm 
<laughs> and what do I have on this side? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Hopefully you're able to see the tens frame there. So all together I have the number, you got it. We've got one ten and four ones. So when I write a number like 14, I'm identifying that these are really linked together as one. We remember that when we're working with our place value chart, we can't have more than nine in a certain column. So once I click these all together, rather than having 10 ones, I can think of having one 10. And so there's the number 14. Let's build it another way. <laughs> You all were so great at your construction. Now look at me, I'm building my construction. And our friends at home can build right along with us. Okay, we've talked about 110. We took 10 ones and clicked them together, 110. Now if I work with uh, base 10 blocks, what's kind of nice is that my 10 is already clicked together. There we go. Do I still have 14? One ten and four ones will still give me 14, and now we can see the value columns that we're working in. Okay, you've got the hang of this, so let's go on. Will you do this at home with me? I hope you have your place value chart out with you and your base 10 blocks. I would like for you to build this number, and if you don't mind, to start with if you have the base 10 blocks, let's use that material. Okay, here we go. nine tens here, don't I? Five on the top and four on the bottom. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Guess what? I'm going to have us add six ones. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now what do you think? Can all those ones live there in that ones column? <laughs> you got me. They cannot, they can't all live there. So watch what we'll do. Put that there. Do you know what we'll do with these? That's right, we're going to exchange these 10 ones, they pop around like popcorn, for one 10. I'm going to just slide that right into that spot and I'm gonna move our ones up, always trying to create a, a tens frame so we can see what we've got there. And now, oh, I, yeah, tell me some more, tell me some more. <laughs> You're right, we cannot keep all of these in the tens column now. We'll be making another exchange. These are 10 tens. We're going to trade them for 100. So 99 plus six ones gives us 105. Is that right? You got it. Okay, now let's take a look at the next thing that we can do with that. I'm gonna slide this to the right and for a moment, I'm gonna move that. What do you think I'm going to add here? What comes, if we're building numbers, we build from hundreds to thousands. All right, here we go. All right, we've got our thousands column. When you look at this, do you know what number we have built? We have nine of these flats, which equals 900. We have nine of these rods, which equals 90. And we have nine of these little cubes, which equals nine. 999, let's show it. Can 
Can you imagine what I'm going to do next? <laughs> Just to disrupt this whole thing. I don't know, that's what construction workers do. If we're constructing our numbers, let's go ahead and really build. I'm gonna do it. Ding, 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 ding. 10 ones can't live in the ones column. So what shall we do? We'll trade 10 ones for 110. Here we go again. Oh, ding, 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 ding. They can't all live there either. We have now 10 <coughs> tens. And when we put them up here, do you know what we have now? That's right. We have a thousand. We can move all of these off of there. And now we can see that we have 1,000 all together. All right, we're gonna switch to place value disks, but what do you think I'm gonna put in our next column? You be thinking about it. All right, take a look at the number that I have built now. We can read it here, or we can look and count here. So let's say it together. 9,999. Wow, you're constructing huge numbers today. I'm so proud of you. Now, based on what we've done already, can you figure out what I'm going to do next? Let's do it. Let's just disrupt everything by adding one because 10 ones cannot live there. So we'll trade these 10 ones, you got it, for one 10. Ding, 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 the alarms go off because 10 tens can't stay in the tens column. And so we'll take these 10 tens and we'll exchange them for 100. <laughs> and again, we'll exchange 10 hundreds for 1,000. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousands. Guess what? I have just the thing for that. We'll trade those ten thousands for one ten thousand. And look at that. We showed 9,999 plus one equals 10,000 altogether. Okay, you're just doing great. We're moving right along today. Don't be intimidated by these large numbers. We just have to get used to them and then they're so much fun. <gasps> Some of you might remember my old friend Owl who's gonna help me out and I'd like to introduce you to Hedgie. Hello Hedgie, welcome to our math program. We're gonna do a little work together, okay? All right. What I want you to know is that Owl, let's imagine Owl and Hedgie were out in the forest collecting acorns. Owl collected 300 acorns and then 40 more and then nine more. But Hedgie, whoa, Hedgie was busy. Cause Hedgie collected 2,000 and 400 and 30 and five. Which one do you think collected more acorns? Owl or Hedgie? Let's put our number cards together to see. 300 plus 40 plus nine will give us 349. 2,000 plus 400 plus 30 plus five. Will you read this with me? 2,435. Whoa, Hedgie's the winner! Collecting the most acorns for the day. When we work with numbers like this, it, it, when they're put together, we just call it standard form. That's the way we usually expect to see a number. But at the beginning, I showed you 300 plus 40 
plus nine. The fancy word for that is expanded notation. And when you're doing your work today, you're going to see numbers written in this form, expanded notation, and you will have to write them in standard form. So you would say this equals 349. Now also in your work today, you might um, spend a little time talking about number words and even how to spell them. And here's the thing, learning, <laughs> Learning to think about your numbers as words is just one more good way for you to get really, really solid in your math skills. So even though it seems like spelling and math don't really go together, I do want you to spell out some of those numbers. So let's choose one here. How about, let's write the number 5,417 in words. It's not so hard, I promise, especially if you have a place value chart in front of you because then you'll see the spelling of some of your, um, some of the value columns. So let's say five, now five has a long I in it. So we've got this silent E at the end that makes it say its name. Thousand is a great word just to memorize. We have our TH combo and then the OW, like O-U-T, thou. The tricky thing with thousand is we say z, but it's an s. 5,000, four. Now, when you're writing the number four, what's kind of handy is that there are one, two, three, four letters in the number four. So we'll say 400. And it is nice to, um, and it is correct to put a comma afterwards. 5,417. We won't write the word 110. We'll write this number altogether. Seventeen, like that. And now we've written that out. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to tell you a number, and at home, I want you to write it down, and your teacher can check and make sure you've done it correctly, okay? So I'm giving you the words 4,672. 4,672. All right, once you write that down, you're gonna get your textbook and your workbook, and hooray, we've done our first lesson in level three, and I just can't wait to keep constructing with you all the time. Have a great day.